For most people, the time to sign up for Medicare is when you hit 65. Actually, you can sign up any time during a seven-month period. The month you turn 65, three months before that, and three months after that. But for some people, it's smarter to wait to sign up for Medicare, as long as you don't miss an important deadline. Here to explain is my smart law partner, Mike Solomon. Thanks for joining us today. So when does it make sense to delay signing up for Medicare? Well, if you're working past age 65 and your employer has health coverage, your spouse is working and has health coverage, and the employer has more than 20 or more employees, then you should consider not uh, electing Medicare. The reason is, is that the employer's health plan is primary and Medicare is secondary. So you may be paying for a benefit you never get any coverage for. All right, so let's say that uh, we delay and we turn 68, 69, 70, or whatever. Um, when should we sign up? Now, if, you, if you're working all of a sudden, you, you're no longer working, or your spouse no longer working, you lose that coverage, then you should sign up for Medicare. And you have eight months from when you lose your coverage. And that means even if you cover by COBRA or some sort of a special retirement benefit that the company has that gives you more coverage, you need to do that eight-month period. What if we don't sign within the eight months? Well, if you don't, what happens is that once you no longer have that right to coverage, Medicare becomes the primary benefit, and any health insurance through a private employer is secondary. So if you have a medical need, they can deny your coverage because you should have been under Medicare. Even if you have COBRA. Even if you have COBRA. Something like that. So uh, are there other downsides to not signing up? I mean, one is not having coverage. What else? Well, there, there are other things. Let's say if you wait too long, there's a penalty, if you wait too long, of 10% of the amount of the premium. So if you've gone past your election period, they can impose a penalty of 10% of the premiums paid. So, for example, right now it's $104 a month. Uh -huh. In a year, that would be an annual penalty of $125, and it goes forever. So once you've missed one year, that penalty lasts with you forever. And, of course, the longer it is, the more expensive. And are there any other problems? Well, the, the other problem is when you finally decide to elect, now you have to wait till the open enrollment period, which is between January and March of the next year. And then when you enroll then, you still have to wait till July 1 to receive coverage. So you still have that issue, and all those penalties are going to start accruing. And you may end up with a period that you're not covered. That's true also. Okay. Thank you for you're the welcome. information. For most people, sign up for Medicare when you reach 65. But if you or your spouse is still working with health care coverage, then you'll probably save money by waiting. But you have to remember, to avoid costly penalties, keep your eye on the calendar and follow Mike's timely advice. Call Butish, Solomon, Steiner, and Peck at 1-888-236-5173 for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization. Or log on to www.butishandsolomon.com. Thanks for joining us. On next week's show, it's time to take a peek at your portfolio. We'll explain why it's important to evaluate your investments. Then we'll look at some home sleep tests to see if they make the grade in exposing sleep apnea. And we'll feature fashion finds of designer exclusive attire. Until though, next week, please remember to make the most of your golden opportunities. <laughs>